So these Baltimore Ravens take another big hit injury wise with Audarius Washington. Potentially, John Harbaugh said he is potentially out for the season is still to be determined and it's crazy because Harbaugh was just saying the other day like hey we didn't have any major injuries in the game all the injuries were mine he talked about Odell Beckham Jr. oh is his ankle he'll be back soon oh Adafi away oh yeah he'll be back soon but now we get a big blow and that's tough because remember all off season we would have so many conversations amongst Ravens fans like, who is going to be that slot corner? Who's going to be that nickel corner? Who is going to hold it down at inside cornerback for our Baltimore Ravens? And we wondered if it could be this guy. They signed him. They drafted him. They, and it was so many different questions. And we all had our individual answers. But but Baltimore Ravens, they finally gave us an answer. They said, hey, it's going to be Ardarius. And we were like, okay, Ardarius Washington. Hey, small frame but plays big. And he had been holding it down for these past couple of weeks. He had been having some solid weeks. But now... Uh, it is all over. So Ravens are back to the drawing board when it comes to that inside corner. Now, me, um, I think uh, it could end up being Arthur Millette uh, who gets the job because he made the roster and he's been on the 53, but he's just been inactive. But I think moving forward now uh, that he's going to be active. Uh, so we'll see. And then when Marlon Humphrey comes back, we'll see how they mix things up. Uh, so that's to be determined. Now, um, with this Ardarius Washington injury, uh, something that is it sucks, man, because it just it changes stuff a little bit, but overall not much. Uh, and what I'm talking about is the overall injuries, because for the majority of the injuries that the Baltimore Ravens have gotten, it's been a lot of them too. Uh, minus J.K. Dobbins and sound like it's going to be Audarius Washington, because if Harbaugh says you potentially going to be out for the season, and you know how Harbaugh don't really talk about injuries like that then yeah, he's probably going to be out for the season. But minus J.K. and Ardarius, with the one positive about all the injuries, even though it's nothing positive about injuries, but the one positive about them is that besides those two guys, everybody should be coming back. Everybody's going to be returning. Um, so this is much different than injuries that the Baltimore Ravens have suffered in recent years where we know if somebody ends up on an injury report, it's like, oh, they ain't coming back. We heard so many press conferences and so many updates, so this player's out for the season. But, again, for the majority of these guys, they're coming back. So got to look at some of the positive, right? Uh, but anyway, um, Brandon Stevens, speaking of the secondary, Brandon Stevens, uh, who has been the Ravens' outside corner, one of their top outside corners while Marlon Humphrey is out, he has been holding it down. And uh, PFF, Ravens, they had uh, showed us some of his numbers uh, thus far this season. And it says Brandon C. Stevens in single coverage this season, so all by himself, Stevens Island. It says he has had 30 snaps, four targets, two receptions allowed, but for only 19 yards. Uh, and there was one forced incompletion. And he has allowed a low 63.5 passer rating. So Brandon Stevens been doing his thing, man. He 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 been holding it down, and that's what we like to see. Uh, with Brandon Stevens going into the season, I know there was a lot of uh, pessimism. A lot of people were worried and concerned, like, "Ooh, Brandon Stevens, uh, I don't know about him. I don't know how he's gonna hold it down as a starting outside corner." I remember going into the season, I, I thought that that two outside corners were going to be Rocky Seen with Marlon Humphrey out. I thought it was gonna be Rocky Seen and Ronald Darby. I did not think it was gonna be Brandon Stevens, but we know the Baltimore Ravens. They love, 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 love Brandon Stevens a lot. We've seen it ever since his rookie year. How much they love him, and they want him to be out there on that field. Um, but Brandon Stevens, he's he's been holding it down, man. He has certainly been holding it down, and that's what we like to see uh, because he always reminded me of Chuck Clark, a player that would not be too out of place but just had a lot of trouble closing the plays and we've seen that sometime time to time this year but overall he been doing his thing he really has been so shout out to brandon stevens and i'm sure with more opportunity he'll continue to get better continue to be a better closer and just continue to be a better corner overall got to remember that he is still making that transition because he was a running back then he was a safety then he was a corner then he was a safety then he's a corner again and it's, it's been just a, a lot of everything um but now it seems like the Baltimore Ravens may be settling him into that corner spot. So I hope that he continues to do well because that could be a beautiful thing. Now, um, speaking of injuries, still, <laughs> oof, yikes, um, uh, Adafi Away. Adafi Away suffered an injury in this last game, so that will sideline him uh, for this upcoming game against the Indianapolis Colts. So he is going to be out, but Jeremiah Moon is expected to be up. Jeremiah Moon made a couple of uh, plays during the preseason uh so hey hopefully he can just continue that whenever he does get an opportunity uh this sunday against the Colts. uh john harbaugh did talk about how uh, jeremiah moon is going to be getting called up 
So shout out to him. Um, and just looking over the uh, the injury report, uh, some guys have a lot of guys have officially been declared out for this game. Let's just go over it real quick. Odell Beckham Jr. out. Um, Marlon Humphrey out. Uh, Justice Hill out. Tyler Linderbaum, Adafi Away, Ronnie Stanley, and Marcus Williams all out. But again, just to, 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 to put that positive on there, uh, those guys are all going to be back. So. That's a good thing. So, again, it's not about the short game. It's about the long game. Um, and somebody else who also got officially ruled out for this game against the Colts uh, is the Colts quarterback, uh, Anthony Richardson. I uh, remember he, in the last game that the Colts had, he went into concussion protocol, uh, and he hasn't been cleared yet. So, hopefully, for his sake, he he's good to go, uh, I guess, next week. But – and. There won't be any like lingering effects, anything like that, man. Because I, I, I really want to see him going against the Baltimore Ravens. I really want to see him go against Anthony Richardson. Um, now with Gardner Minshew, hey, this dude, he got experience now. He, he, he got some real good experience and a lot of experience. Now, something that I thought was very weird though with Gardner Minshew, Jameson Hensley, and I, I'm not blocked by Jameson Hensley. I know a lot of y'all are, but anyway, Jameson Hensley, um, he had tweeted this out a, a couple of hours ago, and I thought that these numbers were so weird. They were like, how does he do? But it, it doesn't add. Let's just read it. He said, with Anthony Richardson ruled out, Ravens will face Gardner Minshew on Sunday. Minshew's only start versus the Ravens came in 2020 uh, when Baltimore beat Jacksonville 40 to 14. All right. So that's obviously a blowout, not a close game at all. And I love scores like that, at least on the Ravens side. But this was the, the weird part right here. In, in that game, Gardner Minshew completed 75.9% of his passes. Versus the, versus the Ravens, he went 22 for 29 for 226 yards and threw two touchdowns. So when you look at his numbers, if, like if you tell me, like, all right, going into this game, a quarterback's going to complete pretty much 76% of his passes and throw for 226 yards and throw two touchdowns, no picks. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, he, oh yeah, he, he won. <laughs> no, he, the game wasn't even close. So that's, that's crazy to think about. But I ain't mad at it. Hey, so... Ravens just, they, they got to take care of business uh, against the Colts this week. And they cannot, I don't think they will, but they cannot sleep on the Colts whatsoever because they're a team that, in my opinion, they don't, they, they, they're not a Super Bowl contending team. They're not a contending team this year. And I think they realize that, but with them realizing that, they ain't got nothing to lose. So if, if, you, if you got low expectations and like you like, we ain't a Super Bowl contender anyway, you got nothing to lose. So you are willing to risk everything and go out there and just do some crazy stuff. So we'll see how it goes. And then one, one more thing. Nice little bonus. Nice little surprise today that I had no clue about. Y'all saw the Ray Lewis and Roquan Smith video? But they sitting down watching film together. I'm like, whoa, what, when did this happen? Where did this come from? I loved it, though. I loved it. And, and as a matter of fact, if you didn't see it, I will put the link to it uh, as the pinned comment in uh, the comment section. So you could check that out because wa watching that was a beautiful thing. I'm like, man, Ray Lewis. The best inside linebacker to ever do. Roquan Smith, who probably might be the best inside linebacker right now doing it. And if he ain't, he definitely one of the top ones. But for them to both with the Baltimore Ravens, to be sitting down and watching film together, <laughs> like imagine the knowledge. Like, and what's crazy is Roquan Smith is obviously a very knowledgeable player. Got a lot of smarts. But imagine what he can take from a two-time Super Bowl champion. Defensive player of the year, the Hall of Famer. All, you know Ray Lewis' list of accolades is, is super, super long. It's actually longer than Ravens' injury report, if you, you would be surprised by that. But um, for Roquan Smith to be able to sit down with him and go over film, and you know, like them boys from Miami, they study film like no other. But that's just a beautiful thing, man. So I, I was happy to see that, and um, I'm sure y'all will be too, if you haven't seen it already. But team, keep it clean. That's it for now. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Looking forward to seeing y'all in a couple days for the live stream for the Ravens and Colts game. Oh, it may be storming up there. So any of y'all that's going to the game, just, just be safe and be smart. Um, just pay attention to everything that's going on. I know y'all going to be getting all the weather updates and all that. Um, hopefully it, it doesn't even end up being nothing but some rain. And hopefully it might not even that. Because trust me, us down here in South Florida, we got plenty of experience with storms and hurricanes and all of that good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, man, y'all stay safe, though, on a serious note. I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Uh, happy Purple Friday. Uh, I hope you had a great week. I hope your weekend goes even better than your week did. 
And y'all stay blessed, uh, stay up, stay positive, and keep doing what you've been doing. I love y'all, and we out.